What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're getting the autopilot adjusted on the Baron. After about two and a half hours, it starts to porpoise a little bit, so I'm gonna get that fixed. And I'm also going to get the ELT replaced to a 406 ELT. So I will be doing another episode where I explain everything about 406 ELTs, but let's go take it to the shop. Good morning, sir. November 158, Bravo Bravo, spot 16. Would like to reposition to Alka Avionics. Number 158, Bravo, Bravo, Jimmy and me, ground. Taxi via Echo Delta. Echo Delta, 158, Bravo, Bravo, thank you. So the autopilot is holding the airplane on base just on uh, elevator. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be off the servo it trims and then that way it doesn't fight the pressure the whole way. So after about two and a half hours, the autopilot starts to uh, suffer a bit. So we're going to get that fixed. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is to get the uh, 406 ELT on board the airplane. Uh, but right now we have a 121.5 ELT, but we want to get to the 406 because the 406 offers better uh, reliability and search and rescue uh, response time is a lot smaller for a 406 ELT. Flying this airplane all over the, uh, the Caribbean, you really want to have a good ELT in case that by any chance we have to put it underwater, we have a good solid uh, emergency equipment that can, you know, we can rely on that we're going to get searched and rescued. So I'm going to go see my buddy Rodolfo at Alka Avionics today. And he should be able to. Uh, hook November me up. 158, Bravo, Bravo. I think uh, for Alka Avionics, they want you to enter from uh, spot 11 and then take that narrow path. Um, okay, sir, I'm unfamiliar with spot 11. Is that through customs or that's the uh, Charlie 1? And, uh, Bravo, Bravo. It's a right turn immediately onto Charlie Taxiway. Then you enter in. Um, spot 11, which will be on your left-hand side, and then you take that uh, path immediately off your left. Right here, I see it now. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, so they want us to come in through here. It's all good. So it's going to be really nice because the autopilot on this aircraft is, is great. I have an S655 autopilot. It'll fly the airplane all the way down. I, actually, the last flight I did, it flew the airplane all the way down to minimums, and I didn't connect it at minimums. I was uh, BFR, but it was still very nice. So this here is where my EOT is located. Right about here is where it's at. I don't know which antenna it is on this airplane, but basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna go on the other side, so right about here. So on this side here, through this panel, they can actually access and go in and through here as well they can see the ELT, take it out and remove it and install the new 406 ELT. But they also have to send a wire that goes all the way to the front so that I can activate it in case I need to activate it by myself. After pushing the airplane into the hangar, reminded me that I need to go check out the golf cart that we're supposedly getting built. So I'm on my way now. It's literally right across the street, which is nice, because every other golf cart, every other golf cart I see online is like 50 miles away, and I don't want to go drive 50 miles away to get a stupid golf cart. So we're on our way now. Let's go see if it's ready. And we're here. My golf cart's not ready because of him. So yeah, yeah. Push. it's all my fault. I'm push yeah, the airplane. You know why I remember I had to come? Because I had to push the airplane down. <laughs> I gotta do something. Wait a minute. I know where to go. <laughs> All right. Is it my turn yet? <laughs> hey, calling number 184. Hi. Come on in, 184. All right. Is there. This, this is, I just washed it. Hey, that's undercoating at the dealership. <laughs> There's the Virginia Creeper. That's the one we were first gonna take. The funny part about this car is that it's called the LeBaron. And our airplane is a Baron. Look, look at this. This is classic. This is awesome. <laughs> so, when, so when can I come back? It'll be a Tuesday, not specifying as to the month. <laughs> but we can do any Tuesday. All right, boss. Thanks no. a lot. All right. Good. Appreciate it. We'll How see you on Tuesday. You got it. Bye. So when it comes to parts, I always come to Propel. They're an authorized uh, Beechcraft and actually a Textron dealer. Hi. No. This is my parts guy right here. Oh, How are you, man? Hey. Lewis, good to see you. Perfect. So I got all my screws here. Lewis hooked me up. So this is all the wing, right? 
wings. Yep. Everything you do with the wings, the panels. Awesome. You take one out, you put a new one on, and you're good to go. Perfect. That's like literally $86 in screws. I'll send them the pictures and uh, get going. Awesome. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you so You're the much. best. Appreciate it. It's good to meet you, Thanks sir. So me too. All right. So, Lewis now got me all the screws. This is a lot of screws. I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be spending like 50 hours just putting screws on the airplane. And he's waiting to uh, to find a piece that I'm missing on the wing. I'm not missing it, it's there. I just want to replace it because it's a little bit corroded. But I can't find it, he can't find it, so we got to call Cessna and see if Cessna can find it. But we'll see. All right, time to put some screws on. All right, guys, and the last thing for today is I'm going to get these replaced. So if you look at them, they're like all glazed and all ugly looking. So I ordered the new plastics. Um, Great Lakes Plastics. And look how nice these things are. They're like completely clear. So that's going to make the airplane look really sexy. And the bearings is supposed to be a sexy machine. There well, they are. Both of them are out. Take them out to the mechanic and he'll have them ready for me.